So it's no secret that at the time of making this video, Australia are producing some of the best basketballers in the world. Again, for the longest amount of time, it's always been the United States have produced the best basketballers. And then in the last five or 10 years, it's really started to become that uh, thing where a lot of these European countries have been producing a lot of good players as well. But very recently, Australia have become one of the biggest countries in terms of not only producing good young talent, but good young talent that goes top 10 in the NBA draft. We, of course, saw Josh Giddy, I believe, go up pick six to the Oklahoma uh, City Thunder in 2021. In 2022, we saw Dyson Daniels also go in the top 10 to the New Orleans Pelicans. A couple years before that, Ben Simmons would go at pick number one and Dante Exum would go at pick number five. And again, Thon Maker, pick 10. More recent years as well, there have just been a ton of really solid, good basketballers come out of Australia, like Josh Green and like Matisse Thimble. And really, it doesn't seem like Australia is stopping at all with next year. In 2024, it is also predicted that in the top 15, Tyrese Proctor out of Duke would also be going in that draft. And again, in saying all of this, Australia has built one of the best Olympic basketball teams. But what if I told you the missing piece in Australia's basketball team in not only the FIBA competition and the Olympics was not far away. In fact, this seven foot three big man named Rocco Zaraski is not only projected right now by some to go in the top 10 of the 2025 NBA draft, but there are early, early projections by a lot of experts out there that are saying that he could be an early favorite to go pick number one in the 2025 NBA draft. If you don't know anything about Rocco, I will start off by saying that not only is this guy seven foot three, but also is an extremely good center offensively and defensively, already being compared to what Walker Kessler was able to do in his first year. I think if teams knew how good Walker Kessler was going to be in his first year with the Utah Jazz, he would have 100% gone top 10 if not potentially top five. Like Kessler, Zorowski is an extremely good interior defender. Literally got pogo stick in real life. Is an extremely good player when it comes to the inside, whether it's blocking a player, again, being good on the pick and roll, moving around in there, and just the interior defense overall is extremely hard to stop with this guy. He's also extremely good on the pick and roll on offense, and again, has been known to somewhat have a pretty nice inside game where scoring to him is actually quite easy. Again, there's a lot of hype going around considering not only is he seven foot three, but this 17 year old is already playing in one of the best basketball leagues in the world, in the National Basketball League, which is Australia's big league. Again, other than the NBA, the NBL is considered to not only be one of the best, but some experts also consider it to be the second best league in the world. In just the past five years, we have had so many talented elite players play in this league, such as, of course, Lamelo Ball, who played for the Illawarra Hawks and would end up getting drafted at pick number three. We also had Josh Giddy, who played for the Adelaide 36ers, who would get drafted at pick six. Recently, Alex Johnson, who has just gone to the Illawarra Hawks, who is also projected to be a top four name pick in the 2024 NBA draft. Aaron Baines, Tyler Johnson, Matthew Dallavidova, Chris Goulding, Jock Landale, Denzel Valentine, and many, many more. This league is starting to look very, very good. It gets better and better every year. And the realistic thing is for Rocco, he's only 17 years old and he's already guaranteed to be the backup center in his first year for the Brisbane Bullets, where he'll be learning from Aaron Baines, who had an extremely good, respectable NBA career, where he not only won a championship for the San Antonio Spurs, but was in many starting lineups, whether that would be in the Phoenix Suns, 
the Boston Celtics even through their playoff runs in, I believe, 2018. He was literally starting alongside Al Horford and has just been known to be an extremely good role player. Again, he's currently playing for the Brisbane Bullets previously with Tyler Johnson as his point guard. And now he'll be mentoring Rocco Zaraski for his first year. And what's awesome about this is as soon as Rocco turns 18, I'm assuming he's going to be, of course, you know, starting 100% consistently and will, of course, I think, prove himself to potentially at this stage could be a top 10 pick in the 2025 NBA draft. And if the experts are right, if this guy is Walker Kessler, but potentially on steroids, this guy could be a future projected number one. I believe at the time of making this video, the base rating for him is about 14. Since he's been showing off in, of course, the NBL seconds, which is in the preseason stages at the moment, he's, of course, bumped up some of these lists to be in the top 10. Realistic thing is, this is one of the guys alongside Tyrese Proctor, who is the future of Australian basketball. And I think their 2024 Olympics the team is going to be looking really, really good. Not only could they potentially be adding Tyrese Proctor, who should be in the NBA by then, potentially Rocco Zaraski, who I'm not sure if he'll completely make it because he'll just be turning probably 18. You'll also have Ben Simmons, who will hopefully play his first ever Olympics for Australia, and Jock Landale, who will also be playing for Australia and starting for them in the Olympics, which he was supposed to do in FIBA in 2023 this year, just of course had a bunch of injuries. The Australian FIBA team is looking stacked now, and the reality is there are four players extremely good who you could add in 2024. And if everything goes well, Kyrie Irving, who's been chatting a lot on Twitch, would also be a really welcome addition if he ever wants to... If he ever wants to come down, that would be pretty cool. I definitely think he and Giddy with Thimble, Josh Green, Joe Ingles, Jock Landau, Ben Simmons. Yeah, we could have one of the best teams in the world. I consider myself an international player, even though I, I, I played on Team USA. A lot of my peers laugh at me when, when I bring it up. You know, some fans may not agree, but, you know, I was born in Australia, Melbourne to be exact. Uh, and Team USA asked me to play for them. Uh, when I was 17 or 18. So I, I wanted to play for Australia, but it just didn't happen. You know, and Coach K wasn't going to let that happen either. So shout out to Coach K, man. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys expect Rocco Zaraski to be one of the best players in the 2025 NBA draft? Could he even improve himself all the way to pick number one like some of the experts are saying? Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.